gentlemen. May we please invite Mr. Pascal Mawad for his session. Ladies and gentlemen, Dubai's high life is often attributed to their premium luxury brands that dot its retail landscape. Mawad, founded in 1890, is one of the world's most prestigious international diamond houses. Also marks its presence in the Middle East. Today, we have amongst us Mr. Pascal Mawad, who with panache, innovation and an inspired vision has made his mark as a member of the fourth generation of the prestigious Mawad Diamond House. Truly an honor to have you here, ladies and gentlemen. May we all put our hands together for Mr. Pascal Mawad to enlighten the audience with the extraordinary journey of Mawad since 1890. Over to you, dear sir. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for inviting me to speak here today. I was asked to talk to you about my family business, uh, where we started, what we do, and where we're going. So Mawa was a company that was started back in 1890. It's a family business, four generations. My great-grandfather, David or Deoud, started in his home country, Lebanon, left his home country, went to Mexico, became a watchmaker, then came back to his home country, Lebanon, and opened a workshop. My grandfather, Fayez, took over the business from his son, Back in the, his days, he decided to venture out and look for opportunities for the business. He decided to go to Saudi Arabia and by boat and became the jeweler to the queen and the king of Saudi Arabia. And since then, we've been selling to royalty in the kingdom of KSA as well as other countries in the GCC. My father, Robert, took over the business from his father, Fayez, he initially wanted to become a doctor, went to medical school in Paris, and his family called him one day and said, you really have to go back and help your father run the business. So my father, Robert, left Paris where he was attending medical school and at 18 years old, went to Saudi Arabia and helped his father. And he was instrumental in really growing the business to big international standards, took us from a two-store operation to a multinational company. My father, in 2010, decided to retire and gave the business to my brothers and I, both Fred and Alan, and today we are the new owners and new management of the company. We are also grooming the next generation, the fifth generation. On the slide, you'll see my nephew, Jimmy, and my niece, Anastasia, so they're both um, the son and the daughter of my brothers. They are currently in university and they will be joining the business next year for a couple of years, then get their masters and then join the family business. What did my father do, Robert Mawad? He started working in 1965 behind the counter as a salesman, became president of the company and took it, as I said earlier, from a national to a multinational level. At the time, we used to represent many watch brands. We were a multi-brand retail company from Chopard, Hublot, Corum, Cartier, Audemars Piguet, Piaget, etc. He expanded the retail landscape from Saudi Arabia to the US. He went to New York, open offices. In Japan, we had 35 stores at some point. We have operation in Singapore, Malaysia, and really grew the business internationally. He opened factories in Saudi Arabia, in Italy, Valencia, in Paris, the Paris Workshop, Thailand, and also in the Philippines. We started our own objet d'art factory, producing objects of art for numerous decades, and that was based in the Philippines. And also a watch manufacturing facility and plant in Switzerland. We've been building watches since 1972, and we continue to do so. Innovative designs, creative, cutting edge, yet universal in appeal. My father has been instrumental in acquiring very important diamonds throughout his career. Some of them are named after us, such as the Mawad Magic, it's 108.81 carat. Emerald Cut, the Jubilee, the Star of Stanley O, which I'll show you a slide in a minute, 
and a lot of important diamonds. So acquired very important diamonds throughout his career and made our company iconic in the exceptional diamond category. Here's a picture of uh, my father and mother. They're holding this beautiful 218 karat diamond. It's the star Stanley Ho. It was sold to Stanley Ho in Hong Kong. It's a DIF cushion shaped diamond. It's the largest cushion in the world of its size. Of course, a lot of you know the GIA. I'm very proud that my family has been a big contributor to educating the industry. GIA in Carlsbad, California now has their world headquarters named after my father's, the Robert Mawad campus, since 1997. I went to GIA in 92. The president later in the mid-90s had come to me and my brothers and said, we have this vision called Vision 2000. By year 2000, we'd love to have a campus overlooking the Pacific, and we're looking for contributions. You can name a classroom, you can name a chair, you can name a building. I was only in my early 20s, and I said to him, you know, Bill, I'm looking to have the entire school named after my, after my father, and so let's start negotiating. We negotiated for a period of six months, and six months later, I picked up the phone, called my father, and I said, congratulations, the GIA is named after you now. Needless to say, I had given the bill, I had no money to pay. Here's the first generation. Again, my elder two brothers and myself. What have we done? We have basically taken the values of the family business and we've added some more to them. Integrity for us is very important. The courage to invest in gemstones and to build the business. Hard work, we were always told by our predecessors to work extremely hard and hard work pays off. Innovation, we've always embraced technology. We currently will always look at different technological tools to advance our business. Adventure, you know, taking risks and going into new territories and even going out and buying diamonds when the market is down. What have we added as a as fourth generation? Family first. Now, in the previous uh, predecessors, there was a one-man show, one president. Today, it's my two brothers and I, and tomorrow, they'll be their children. So in our family, we go, we put family first. It's really important. And as a result, we have a management team that runs a day-to-day -day operation. We gave each other titles of co-guardians. We're the gatekeepers of the brand, and that's our job. We went from a multi-brand environment to a uni-brand concept. So when we took over in 2010, we decided to convert all our stores into mono brand, including our watches. We decided to manufacture diamonds. We are today one of the 79 licensed companies of De Beers. So we buy big rough through tenders and also through our site. We cut them into polished, we mount them in our jewelry, and we sell them in our stores. This is a picture of my brother Fred holding a rough. We opened more factories throughout the world, in South Africa to cut, to, for cutting diamonds, in New York as well, Bangkok for jewelry manufacturing. And throughout our times, these are some of the exceptional diamonds that we've acquired. The Kimberly Star, it's 111.11 .11 carats, the largest vivid yellow of its size. The Mawa Star of Vilusuk, which is the largest round diamond cut in Russia. The Mawa Dragon, and I'll show you a video of the Mawa Dragon. Today, it's the largest vivid yellow round diamond in the world. And the Dynasty, it's a magnificent 51 carat D flawless triple X type 2A diamond. Some of the rough that we've acquired, and let me then talk to you about the Dragon. So I'll show you a little video of the Dragon to give you a sense of what I'm talking about. Standing above a history of giants, a spectacular, fancy, vivid yellow rough diamond has come to life, surpassing 105 carats, the Mawad Dragon. The Mawad Master Cutters played a key role in crafting the Mawad Dragon into a historic and unequal vivid yellow round brilliant, the largest ever graded by the Gemological Institute of America. The enchanting spirit of the 54.21 carat Mawad Dragon is completely unsurpassed in its showcase of color, brilliance and design 
and scintillating beauty. The next step is for the creation of a majestic jewelry suite that befittingly amplifies the Mao Word Dragon. So the Mawa Dragon was then uh, put into a beautiful suite, and this is the Mawa Dragon Suite. It consists of the center stone, it's a 51 carat, as I said earlier. We have another 50 carat stone in the bracelet, a 30 carat, and a pair of 10 carats in the earrings. This is the video of the actual suite itself. Over four generations, the Mawad family name has been on the lips of royalty, high society, and the world, creating majestic jewelry from the most dazzling natural gems discovered deep within the earth. Now, inspired by the 54.21 carat Mawad Dragon Diamond, the world's largest round brilliant vivid yellow stone, a new breathtaking chapter in crafting the extraordinary has been revealed. After crafting the Mao Dragon from rough to polished, the next step for us was to create a magnificent jewelry ensemble. To fashion this exceptional jewelry suite required the unlimited imagination and expert skills of Mao's master designers and artisans. From original gauche sketches to intricate 3D models and finally to the hand crafting of this one-of-a-kind collection, every detail was lavished with the utmost care and attention. Truly inspiring, the Mawa Dragon is one of the most revered colored diamonds of all time. The Mawa Dragon Suite elevates this exceptional diamond, complementing it with other sumptuous gems using masterful artistry. Five brilliant fancy yellow diamonds are haloed by over 370 shimmering white diamonds across five incredible pieces. A necklace, bracelet, earrings and ring, all of which emanate a burning intensity against the icy glitter of white. This is why we surround each yellow diamond with a cluster of colorless diamonds cut to the highest standards to maximize the contrast of colors and the brilliance of every facet. At the heart of this exquisite collection lies the majestic Mawad Dragon Diamond, a crown jewel that glistens with the enchantment of a dragon's eye. As the fourth generation co-guardian, working with some of the world's finest diamonds is always an immense privilege, and it's an honor to share this journey with the world. Born of a passion for crafting the extraordinary, the Mao Wed Dragon Suite. Thank you. The Mao Dynasty, as I mentioned earlier, is an exceptional diamond that came from Russia. And um, again, a little video to show you what this diamond is all about. With the lowest recorded temperatures in the Northern Hemisphere and flanked by ice-covered oceans, the Republic of Sakha, Russia, was the wild and numbing site of the discovery of what came to be known as the Mawad Dynasty Diamond. It was cut from the 179 carats Romanov rough which was discovered by Al Rosa, and as of today, is the largest colorless white diamond ever crafted in Russia. This rare and majestic round 51.12 carat brilliant diamond was graded by the Gemological Institute of America as D color, flawless, the highest clarity grade. To honor the dynasty's history and take part in its journey, Mawad renamed the diamond the Mawad Dynasty. To best showcase a diamond of this magnitude and perfection, we designed the ring that would amplify its beauty. Crafted in our own workshop by our master jewelers, it is simple, elegant, and befitting of a diamond as extraordinary as the dynasty. History has seen few flawless and colorless diamonds, 
But one stands above all in glittering rarity. The Mawad Dynasty. I'm also proud to say that our company has acquired five Guinness World Records since our inception. The Splendor is one of the largest diamonds back in the day that my father acquired in 1990. In 2003, we brought to market the very sexy, very sexy fantasy bra. I'm sure many of you are aware that we've been working with Victoria's Secret for over a decade, and we brought to market this exceptional fantasy item for a value of $12 million. In 2013, the incomparable diamond necklace, the largest flawless diamond in the world, 400 plus carats. And in 2016, the Flower of Eternity coffer, the largest, sorry, the most expensive coffer in the world at 3.8 million. The incomparable had a value of 55 million US dollars. These are some of the pictures of our collaboration with the giant Victoria's Secret. We've done all these bras throughout the years, and one of them got a Guinness World Record. We're also known to be jewelers to not only royalty, but also to celebrities. So I personally live in Los Angeles. I've acquired and nurtured many relationships throughout the last decade. And I'm proud to say that our company today dresses a lot of celebrities on the red carpet during award season in Los Angeles, in Cannes, Full Film Festival, in other places. I'm not gonna mention all the names, but some of the names that we've dressed of celebrities, Nicole Kidman, we have Kate, Kim Kardashian, Mira Carey, J-Lo, Demi Lovato, and the list goes on. Timepieces, as I mentioned earlier, we've been manufacturing watches in Switzerland since 1972, so today 47 years. And as part of our crafting the extraordinary strategy, we are now brought to market some exceptional diamonds, diamond watches. This is called the Galaxy. So it's a tourbillon full of baguettes, and it's a very unique piece, a production of only 12, 12 pieces worldwide. We're also proud to say that we just signed a deal with Miss Universe. So Miss Universe, starting this year, for the next five years, will be crowned with a beautiful diamond crown from Mawad. The next pageant is in Atlanta, Georgia, and it's happening on December 8th of this year. So we'll be in the US to crown the next Miss Universe. That will give us a lot of publicity and also allow us to continue building a track record to build our brand in different markets. Finally, the Mawa Diamond Impact Fund. Our company believes in also giving back to society. So what you see here on the slide are the three brothers, but also, most importantly, my nephew, Jimmy, who will now be in charge of the Diamond Impact Fund. What does the fund do? So the fund is essentially made and created to improve the lives of unprivileged communities where we source our diamonds and get people from these parts from this part of the world to be, to be trained so that when they go back home, they have the skills to become better workers and make a higher earning. And so I'm also gonna show you a little video of what we've done. So we brought five South Africans from South Africa to come to our Bangkok facility to train them for six months. And after six months, they have the option to either work for us or go back to their home countries and become skilled cutters and essentially gain create value for themselves and for their countries. Okay, so I am very happy to announce all five of you will go to Thailand. <laughs> Congratulations, okay?
So thank you, Mr. Rasmussen, for my presentation. I hope it was interactive. I was asked to stay for a Q&A session. If any of you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer. So I'm happy to have been part of this forum. It was very beneficial for myself and our company. We learned a lot, a lot of great guest speakers. And I think the entire idea was for all of us to learn from one another and get key takeaways to apply in our businesses. So for me, I was very pleased with the outcome. I had the opportunity and honor to speak about my company, what we do, and hopefully that was also helpful for the audience. I think such forums are instrumental in happening on numerous occasions because, again, they really help us, the industry, operate better, understand best practices, and give us tools to grow our businesses and be more successful. So these firms are very important and I highly encourage for them to occur again and again.